Great stuff. Well, as I said, welcome everybody. Um, today's session is all about padding, margin, and, and block spacing. And somebody else asked me um, about 6.0 or 6.1. I'm definitely um, looking at the, the 6.1 features. And of course, that's the beauty of WordPress. Things keep changing and improving. And um, there's more features that's, that gets added to blocks, um, et cetera. So let's jump straight into it. Just going to move everyone's faces to my other screen. There we go. So various, various dimension controls are built into, into different blocks to help you achieve greater customization for your layout and design, um, especially when combined, and especially when using container blocks, such as group blocks, column blocks, um, row blocks, et cetera. And that's something we, we looked at um, when we, um, when I ran the online workshops about um, recreating block design. Um, I put a lot of emphasis on container blocks. Um, and of course, using those container blocks and the padding margin and block spacing features um, are also really important. All right, so, Padding, margin, and block spacing are three important elements, and they essentially do the same thing. They create extra space, or they create extra space, or you remove, or you rem remove space um, using those, um, those elements. But the question is, of course, where? So padding is what creates space inside a block around the content. Margin is what creates space around a block and block spacing allows you to add or remove space between nested blocks. And I've got an illustration to, to help us out. So hopefully this visual depiction will, will really um, help you to understand um, these, um, these elements better. So if you have a block, so um, I've used these um, dotted lines to show my block. So here's my block. I've added my content, WordPress, and I've added, so that's my heading, and I've added some text. And I've also decided to add a border. Now, we're going to look at that today as well, but you, you are able to add borders. Now, most of the times, blocks don't have borders, but most blocks, you are able to add a border. And then the space that you add around the block or within the block, uh, um, around the text or the content is called padding. And then of course, the space that you, you can add or remove outside the block is called, is called margin. All right, there's just one or two more people that arrived. So um, yes, to recap, and, and we're gonna look at this now when we, we open up um, one of our pages, um, but you can create space around the content within your block using padding, and then you can create space around your block or outside your block using margin. Now, you will also notice um, with a lot of blocks, um, you are ab only able to change the, the top and the bottom margin. And then with padding, usually you can, you can change the, the bottom, the top, the left, and the right. Okay, so I hope this visual depiction helped everyone. So let's jump into my, my test website. Okay, not that one. There we go. Right, so I am, I've opened up um, my, um, my test website. I've opened up one of my pages. I'm using 6.1 and um, I am using a block theme. All right, so here we have a group block, right? So I've used the container block, I've used the group block and I've added 
a heading and I've added some text. So let's just let's just show you all the features um, or the, the, the block spacing, the padding and the margin features before we look at um, some examples. All right, M, as far as I know, yes, I've used, this is the 2023 theme. All right, so let me close my, my list view and just scroll down a bit. So I've added some, um, some other content here as well. All right, let's select my, my group block. Now you will notice I've, I've added a background color to um, my group block. And to show you how the spacing or the padding in the margin works, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my sidebar settings. All right, so if you, if you select your, your block, um, you can open up your, your sidebar settings and then you can scroll down to dimensions. Now you will notice some, dim some dimensions won't show when you, you start fresh. So then you just click on the three vertical dots and you need to make sure that it's got a tick next to it. All right. So as you will notice, all three my my um, dimension features are showing because I've already started playing around with it. All right, so let's change the padding of the group block to show you. Now, the wonderful thing is it actually shows you as I drag, you've got this, this option where you just have to drag. And as you drag, you can actually see the space increasing or decreasing. Now, remember the padding creates the space around the content within the block, all right? So you can actually create that space around the content within the block using your padding feature. All right, so if you click on set custom size, you can actually use your own um, units of measurement and you can set a custom a custom padding size, or you can use the slider here. Or let's say for example, 30. But now the other cool feature is that when you click on unlink sides, you can actually change the padding only for the top or only for the right or only for the bottom or only for the left. So, Let's say I only wanted to add more space at the top. Then, well, you can do that then. And now you will notice the space is only being added at the top. Or we can say we only want some space on the left. The other option you have, um, well, let's just take that back to 30. Right, now the other option you have is, let me just do that. All right, now we are back to the way it looked like. Okay, so now we can talk about margin. Now remember the margin is the space that you add around your block. So let's just use the slider again to um, visually see this. Okay, so um, Dev, you, you can use the, the slider. That's the wonderful thing you can, you can use. Um, you've got different options. So as you will see, now I'm sliding to the right. And as I slide, space is being added outside my block at the top and at the bottom. Now, again, here you have the same option. If you click on set custom size, um, you can add your custom size. So let's say 10 pixels or 15, whoops, <laughs> not 156, 15 pixels. But now the other cool thing 
you actually don't even have to do that. If you click in, you can actually just um, drag up and down. That's another thing you can do. And you can actually see how the pixels go up. And that will give you a better understanding um, of, of pixels dev so that you can gauge. So you can see, OK, four, um, 54 pixels is, is this much. So you can drag up, drag down. So I hope that will help you to see how much space is being added. And again, if you click on unlink sides, we can do it separately again. We can only do the top. I'll click in again, and I'll just add some space at the top. Or use the slider, and let's remove some space at the bottom. OK, cool. I'm glad that helps. Right, so you will actually notice that um, I've added some space between my heading and my my group block here by using my by using my margin my margin setting. Right now, let's also talk about block spacing. Now I'm gonna look at my images, so I'll select my my gallery block. So M. Um, that is a, a good question. So before, before I um, look at my gallery block, um, you will notice many blocks only have the option um, at this stage to, let's just go down to, to margin again. Um, a lot of the container blocks and other blocks only have the option to change the, the bottom and the, the bottom and the top um, margin. So you will notice for this group block, um, we were a only able to, um, to add some space at the top and at the bottom. But if you look at this, um, let's change this. I thought this was a heading. So let's change this to a heading. Now, I've selected my, my heading block. And if you scroll down now, you will notice it says dimensions and then a plus. There's nothing there. So let's just click on dimensions and you will notice you can change the padding for the heading block and you can change the margin for the heading block. So let's go ahead and select padding and margin. And now they both have the ticks. And if you click on unlinked sides, you will notice for the heading block, you can actually change the top, the right, the bottom and the left margin. And if you link it again, you can actually now see, let's drag it, and you can actually see the space being added top, bottom, left, and right. So it seems like the paragraph block and the heading block, you are able to change the um, all, all the sides. So, um, Jana, the, the answer is no. Um, many other blocks also have the, the padding and the margin, as I just showed you with the, the heading block. So, yeah, most blocks have those, um, um, those features built into it. Um, and that's also the, the beauty of 6.1 now. More blocks have that capability. Right now, let's click on the gallery block here. And let's open my gallery block. We'll see we have two images. Now, if you scroll down, you will see block spacing. Now, remember we said block spacing is uh, allows you to create space between nested blocks. Now, if you look at these two images in my gallery block, um, I can actually, um, when I add it, this is the way it was added by default with the space. But now you can, when you play around with your spacer, you can actually remove that space um, in between. Or you can add some, some more space um, using your block spacing. And again, if I click on use size presets, I can then say zero again. 
So usually when you um, when you click zero um, or add zero, there's there's no space um, um, in between. So I'll show you something else. So let's say, for example, um, let's select the group block and let's say insert after. And I'm going to say, I wanna add an image. Okay, let's just add this WordPress image. Now there's actually a few ways that you can um, remove the space between these two blocks. So let's select the group block. Let's go to margin and click on unlinked sides. And let's remove the space at the bottom and say we want zero, um, zero. Now let's select the image. Now you will notice that you don't have the option for padding and margin when you select an image. Okay, so let's select the group block again. We've made sure it's zero, so that won't work. But now what we can do, this is where block spacing is gonna help you. We have changed the, the margin to zero, but there's still that space, but we can actually remove that space if we wanted to. So let's select these two and let's stack them. And once you've stacked them, you will notice now you have the dimensions. And now we can say, let's change the block spacing to zero. We've changed it to zero. And now you can actually bring those two, two blocks together. All right, M says, is there a way to remove all the margins so that the, the two blocks of text are essentially one? Yeah, so this is what I've, I've just shown you. Um, if you stack them, you can remove the block spacing. Dev says, is there a way to have those dimensions drop down show for all the blocks without having to click on the plus sign every time I want to change the dimensions for um, a block? I don't know if somebody else is able to answer that question. As far as I know, if I'm just using it this way, um, you, will, you will probably have to um, do it every time you create um, something from the start. But, but once you've once you've started working on a block, you will notice they are there and they will stay there. All right, so yeah, that is that is a okay, so um, I think it's probably also that that some people don't want the, the sidebar settings to be too full and too busy. All right, so now we we had a bit of an introduction to using these these um these dimensions let's go and and um, create some examples to see how you can use them better okay so i'm gonna update right yeah andrew that's true He's, andrew says you you could create a pattern and use the pattern wherever you want that behavior that's true very good idea Okay, I've, I've got another page that I've created. Uh, I said dimensions continued. All right, so let's look at my first example. So what I've done here, let's open up Sorry, just want to quickly write something down here as a reminder for myself. Right, so I've got this, um, I think this is a group block. Sorry, columns block. All right, let me show you what I've done here. All right, so I've added a columns block. And I've added, of course, two columns, equal size, 
And then I've added a heading and I've added some text and a call to action button. And then some more text and an image. All right, so I wanted to show you when I select the, the columns block and then scroll down, you will notice padding. So padding always shows up. It's usually, um, you usually have to three on the, click on the three vertical dots to see margin or, or block spacing. Okay, so um, I wanted to talk about border. Now, I mentioned when we create space inside a block around the content, it's padding. When we create space outside a block, it's margin. So let's select this columns block and go to border and say, for the pixels for our border, we want it to be one. Now, of course, if you say 10, the border around your, around your block will be much thicker and wider. But let's say we want it to be, to be five or maybe three pixels. Yeah, maybe three. And now we'll also see, we can change the padding. And so we actually want the, the space around my content to be more. So of course I can do that. Now I really like the slider, um, but if you just want to do it um, cust uh, um, using the custom option, you can do that as well. 40, let's even add a bit more, let's say 80. And now we've added that, that space around the content inside my block. And if we click on margin, let's select margin. And let's say we wanted to create more space around the block, we can do that as well. And for the columns block, you will see we are only adding space at the top um, and at the bottom. Yeah, it's interesting. Dave says, I like how the custom option gets rid of the slider. Um, and yeah, I think that's why there's so many different options because I like the slider and it sounds like you, you prefer the slider to be gone. So here's actually an option to add the custom and slide. So um, I think it's really user-friendly. All right, so my second example that I have here, I thought I can improve. You said I wrote, you can see I wrote there improve. Now, if I look at my second example, you will notice there the text is, is at the top and there's not a lot of space there at the top. So I would like to, to change that. And I'm gonna use my padding to do that. And you might like this design where you've got all through your columns, really nested closely to each other and they, um, they are flushed at the bottom. They, they flush against the, the bottom of the, um, of the block. So let's see, I've added a group block and then inside my group block, I have a columns block here at the top and I've got a columns block here um, at the bottom. So first things first, I thought I can improve this by adding some padding around my content. So let's go for the custom and say 40 pixels. Now we've added some space around my content and also at the bottom. So we, we have removed, I'm just gonna undo to show you how it's changed. Sorry. So remember it was no space there and no space there. So again, 
padding and let's say 50 pixels. And now we've added some space around that. And now I'm going to select these, these columns. So let's open our list view and make sure that I have selected the, um, the columns block. And I'm, I'm selecting the parent column, as you can see, the parent column, because within this parent column, there are three separate columns. All right, now we're gonna slide down. And I am actually going to use block spacing here because you've got three columns. So let's see what happens if I add some more space. There you go. Now we've added some, some more space between my columns by using block spacing. Let's just close that. And let's close that. And there we go. Now, of course, you didn't have to have the background color, but I've just added that to also help us see how the space is being added. Okay, M says, asks, um, does the padding and margin settings affect how it appears on mobile? Um, no, I don't, um, I don't think um, it changes how things are, appear on mobile. Of, of course, it will just um, improve, the, the, um, improve the layout. But that's something you can definitely play around with and, and see what it will look like on mobile. Yes, we can definitely, um, we can definitely preview some of this. So at the end, when I've looked at some example, let's see what it will look like on mobile. Okay, so let's scroll down to my next example. So here's an example um, where I've used a, a cover block and I've actually used some, some, some group blocks from, um, yes, Laura, I will, I will change the rem as well. Right, so let's see how, how you can create this. So let's say insert cover block. Here we go. I'm going to select my image. And then I'm going to select my cover block and I'm going to say I want it to be full height. Okay, and now we're going to add a group block. And within my group block, so before I do that, let's change the, the background color of my group block white and then we're going to add our heading and our heading is follow us follow us and i'm going to hit enter and for this case i'm just going to copy this to save some time let's copy that content here we go we can change the alignment to, to center here as well. And I'm also going to add a buttons block. And it says read more. And let's change the background to black and the text to white. And let's also change the um, whoops, let's make sure we select our buttons block.
or should I select that one? Align. Center. There we go. And if you go down to radius, you can change the, the border radius of your block. And we can slide it a bit to the right, let's say to 15. Or you can slide it all the way to 100. Now I wanted to um, show this as well. Um, of course, you can add padding um, to your your buttons block as well. So, as you will know, that's when it's zero. Now let's change, let's go to custom and then change it to REM REM. And now again, you can just click and you can drag up or you can drag down. So let's drag it up. And let's say, we wanted to maybe a bit more. There we go. So we've added some some padding around the content in our um, in our buttons block as well. And if you didn't like that changes, remember whenever you click on the three vertical dots next to dimensions, you can say reset all. All right, so I've, I've added the top part, but now you will notice, let's just make this bold. Do you see that the, the content is very close to the heading? So now again, we can select our heading, click on dimension, click on padding, Let's click rim, and now we can drag up a bit to create a bit more space um, around the block. And of course, if you didn't want that, let's say um, reset all, select margin. Maybe you only wanted to add some space below. So again, click on unlink sides, go to the bottom, and then you can just add a bit of space at the bottom or click on use size preset. And I like this option where I can just click and drag up a bit and then I can actually see, I just wanted to add some space um, at the bottom of my block. All right, so I've added that bit. Now I'm gonna select this group block and I will say insert after, and I'm going to add another group block. Now I want to use this color, so I'm going to be, I'm going to steal here. Let's just select this group block. I've shown you, I mean, many of you who've been in my sessions have seen me do this. So I'm, I'm selecting that. I'm going to click on the background color. Then you click on custom. And there's an option to actually just copy the hex code. So you can copy that color. So I've copied that color. Now we're gonna select this, this group block again, change the background color. Again, click on custom. And now here at the bottom, you can remove the, the hex code and I'm gonna paste the, the, the hex code from uh, my other block here. Right, so the next thing we want to add is get in touch and then also some social links. So let's add um, get in touch. Let's take that to the center, make that bold, and let's change the size. We can change the size. Oh, maybe we must check what the size is of this one. Let's say ring. What was this? Seven 
So 2.32. So now we can go over here and say 2.3, 2.32. And then below that, we're going to add a the social links, the social icons block. Um, yes, John, I could just um, copy and paste. You're right, but I thought it's always good to see how I create something or how I went about creating something. Uh, but yes, of course, and the the beauty of this is you could just copy other blocks and paste it. So let's add our um, yeah, all good. All right, so now I'm going to add my social icons. So I've got Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So let's select Facebook. Make sure you select Twitter. Always make sure you select your parent block and Instagram. All right, now the proper color will appear when you add your link to your, your social media platform. So let's just do that and say that's our URL. Again, let's select the parent block and we can change the alignment to center. Now, you would have noticed, let's just select this um, social icons to show you. I've used black for the icon color and I've used this color again for, um, so let's just copy that hex code again. Let's go back to my social icon. I said the icon color to black. I mean the icon color and the icon background. I will add my hex code again. And I think you'll agree, we probably want to change the size. So if we click on size, let's say large. All right. But now, maybe you don't want as much space between um, your, your social icons. So I've selected my social icons button, and now you can scroll down to block spacing. And... I will actually say zero and that for a little bit closer together. Another option is maybe you don't want as much space between getting touch. Again, we can click on margin. Let's unlink and let's say we want to add less space below that. So at the bottom, Okay, so it's already it's already zero. So another option I have here, let's select get in touch and the social icons. Let's select that. Let's stack it. Change the alignment to, to center or the justification to center again. And now that I've stacked it, I've got the block spacing option. And when you change the block space into to zero there, you can see we've, um, we've re removed some space between them. All right, so now I just want to see what I've selected here. Okay, so. Let's just close this side. So I want to select my cover block and open my sidebar settings. Scroll down and you will notice padding here as well. So you can add some more padding here. But what I wanted to do, um, so I just wanted to add some, some padding on the right and left, but not at the top and bottom. So let's unlink this and say at the top, we want it to be zero. And at the bottom, 
zero. Oh, that's interesting. I'm trying to remember what I did here. Um, so another question, that's a really good question. Um, can you enter a negative number for less spacing? And the answer is no, I've tried that, um, unfortunately not. And then another question, please tell us where you define REM as, as unit for font size to be default. Um, okay, I will get to that now. Um, so you put the image in the background at full height. Ah, maybe that was the, the problem. Let's remove full height. Ah, okay, I've removed full height. Now let's see if I add some more space. There we go. Now I can just add that again. Thank you, Mary Ann. There's too many things going on in my head. All right, so I've removed the, um, the toggle to full height. And now, of course, um, you can actually see how you can create more space. So let's link them again. And just add a bit more space uh, around that. <laughs> Thanks, Mary Ann. All right. Um, the question was about um, REM. So, of course, when you, let's just add some. some text here, content, right? Now, if you select the content, um, if you go to size um, and you click on pixels, you can choose a different unit of measurement, right? Now, the same year when you're working with a block, let's say my group block, and you are talking about padding or Let's say margin, and you go to custom, you can choose a, a unit of measurement. Now, the question from, um, from one of the um, attendees was, please tell us where you define REM as unit for font size. So I hope that shows you. So here you can choose REM, and now you can define it and, and um, or were you saying, so no, the, the default is not always always pixel. No, sometimes the default is ring. Um, I'm actually unsure, let me see. Um, let me go to one of my other example websites, sorry. Let me just go here and see, let's add a group block here. All right, and let's say a heading. This is a heading. This is content. Okay, so let's open that group. Let's open our sidebar settings. Let's open the custom size. So there it is, pixels. But it's interesting sometimes, um, maybe it's because I have I've used it that um, so many times, but but I do remember sometimes when I when I start a new a, a new site that it has been in REM. So um, yeah, you you'll just need to check your own website. Okay, I've got a few more examples um, to show. Dev, I'm unsure if you will do that at um, um, at the global styles level. All right, so. There was a question, would you demo again setting left and right margins for paragraphs and header blocks? When I change the values, the left and right margins seem to stay at zero when displayed. All right, so are you using six point, maybe I must just double check, are you using 6.1 and are you, um, do, are you using a block theme? So maybe just that's one thing you wanna check. So yeah, let me, let me just stay here then. Um, maybe I must just change this to be a bit bigger. 
Okay, so I've got my heading here right. And in my sidebar settings, I can now click on dimensions. And I can say I want to see the padding and I want to see the margin. All right. Let's click on custom. Now let's add some space around the content. And as you will notice, there it goes at the top, bottom, left, and right. Okay. And if I go to margin, let's use a different one. Let's just okay, let's change that to rem. And now I can just drag up and down. And you can add some space. Now, of course, you are able to do these things in global styles. Um, so maybe I must just update that and remind you. So if you go to appearance and editor, and if you go to global styles, you can customize the appearance of specific blocks for the whole site. So, of course, you can, let's say, heading. Um, you can you can play around with. Just want to see topography, colors, layout. So you can actually set your padding and margin in global styles for all for every time you add a um, a heading block, right? And and that's the same for for other blocks on your site. You can you can customize your your blocks in global styles, and then if you've done it once. It's done. Okay. I want to show you this cool um, option as well when you use a cover block. So if you were in my in my session the other day, um, you'll remember my website was about bikes, but I just wanted to show you this. So I've added um, a cover block with a uh, a featured image and some content. And then I've added another co um, cover block with a different featured image and some content. Now, what I wanted to create here was that parallax effect, but also two images actually gelling together. So you will notice the two bikes are positioned the same way. So I want this bike to kind of flow into the other bike so that it kind of looks like the, it is transforming. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select this cover block and I'm going to say I want fixed background. That creates that parallax effect. All right. Now the same for this one. I'm going to say fixed background. And now it creates that parallax effect. Now you can already see, I hope you can see this. As you scroll down, see the wheels kind of meet there and it flows into the other image. And we can even improve this by selecting both of these cover blocks. Or maybe let's see if I can do it by changing the the margin. It looks like the margin is already zero. So I'm going to select the two cover blocks and I'm going to stack them. All right. And now that I've stacked them, I can change the block spacing to zero. So now I've removed the space between the two cover blocks. And now you get that that effect scrolling into each other. All right. All right. So um, a question about global styles again. But yeah, I just wanted to show you that. I hope um, you enjoyed that feature. So. Let's jump back to this one. 
So M's asking, can you set or change the default padding and margin sizes for the block type at global level? And I think that's something um, Dev also asked. So let's just go to um, global styles. If you click on layout, um, you can change the, the padding. Let's see. So this is the layout for your site. So you, you can change the, the padding for your for your site, but then of course, as I said, you can customize the padding and the um, margin for, for specific blocks in, in global styles. Okay, so is this what you're referring to, um, Andre? So if, if you go here um, and you select, let's say, your group block, you can go to layout, and here you can um, set custom um, padding margin and block spacing settings for the group block. Yeah. All right, I've got four more minutes. I just wanted to show you this this one quickly. Okay, so let's jump back here. Okay, I wanted to show you this example where I've actually played around with the um, with the border. Okay, so what I've done here, I've added. Is it this one? No. Example three columns. There we go. So I've added three columns. And then in each column, I've added a group block. Right. And in each group block, I've got some text here. Um, this is kind of like um, meet my team. So I've added a group block and then here's some text about that person and or maybe something that person said and that's the person who said it and the role. Now, if I open up my sidebar settings, I'm just going to play, I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to reset all. Order. Oh, that's for the for the group group. And I will reset all just to show you. Okay, so this is really um, a cool feature. So. I'm going to go to my left column. All right, there's my left column. I'm going to select the group because I've grouped them together. And now I'm going to say I actually want a little border for my for my group. So again, I'm just going to say I want it to be one pixel. I want a light border. Now, as you can see, when I've done that, it's just a square. There's nothing special about it. But you can now play around with the radius of your border. So let me show you this. So again, I've selected that group. I'll open up my sidebar settings. I'll scroll down. I've set my border to one. And now I'm going to play with the radius. So if you click on unlink radius, you will be able to change the um, the border radius. So I'm going to say I want the top left to be zero. So that will stay the same. I want the top right to be 100. So now you can see it creates that, that rounded effect top right. Now I want the rounded effect here as well at the bottom left. So I'm going to say I want that to be 100. And I want 
bottom right to still be zero. So now if you close it, you will see I've created that, that cool effect by adding a border and changing the radius. Okay, now let's do it with the middle one. Let's add a border radius of one. And I'll unlink the radius. But now this time I want I want to kind of be symmetrical, like a butterfly. If you fold it, it will um, it will meet each other in the same spot. So now we're going to say top left a hundred, top right zero, bottom left zero, bottom right a hundred. And as you can see on the right side, I've used the same settings as on the left. And now I can update. Now, if I select my group block, you will notice I've also added some, um, some padding. So if I remove the padding, it doesn't look that great. But if I add some padding, it looks better. And I've also added some some space between my columns. I think it looks a bit better with some more space. And now I can update. There we go. All right, so that brings us to um, the end of today. Um, I think it's wonderful that we have so much control over our, uh, let me just bring everyone over to the side. I think it's wonderful that we've got so much um, control over our padding, um, block spacing and, and margin. And um, as we said, as WordPress is, is growing and being improved, um, more blocks will um, have more features. Yes, you can add color to your border. That is right. Well, thank you very much for your time. And um, thank you for being with, with um, me today. I appreciate everyone's input. And um, there are some really solid questions today. Um, and I hope you have, have fun and success in, in using padding and margin and block spacing. Cool. Thank you. And I will see you next time. I'll bring this to a close then for us today. Bye.